Harry Potter fans now have a very important date marked on their calendar. July 8th. That's when the Diagon Alley expansion is set to open at Universal Orlando. This morning, we've been getting a behind the scenes sneak peek. Jason Guy has been there all morning long. This treacherous assignment, Jason, I know you're just worn out. <laughs> I am beat, guys. I mean, from the butterbeer ice cream to all of the cool sights. Yeah, it's it's very difficult, my job today. No, I'm loving every minute of it. And I'm hanging with the celebs here, stars from the movie. We've got the Weasley twins and one of the guys behind this whole design and project coming to life. We've got Terry Koo. So let me let me start, Terry, with you. What was it like taking this idea and translating it into reality? Well, it was, it was really fun, but it was a huge challenge. And you can imagine bringing to life this magical world that J.K. Rowling had created. I mean, we did a great job, what, four years ago back with Hogsmeade. And doing this was, was another huge challenge. But what we did is go to the source, go back to J.K. Rowling, who collaborated with us. And we worked with Stuart Craig. And, of course, we worked with the talent here. It was great to be able to bring some more of the characters to life that we hadn't done yet at Hogsmeade for all our guests to experience. So for the stars of the movie, what's it like that first time when you've, you've flown here to Orlando and then you walk into London? It's certainly, uh, you, you do forget that you're in Orlando. When you walk around the corner, you just see here, you could be right in the middle of, uh, of Diagon Alley in, in London. Yeah. Well, even before that, when you actually get off the train at King's Cross, that is like you are in London. And then when you walk from the station down into the London facade again, apart from the heat, you could be in <laughs> London. And then you, so you come into Diagon Alley and everyone's... From what I've seen just looking this morning, people who are coming through for the first time, their expression is exactly like Harry's was in the first film, which is just what, what so much to take in in one, one second. And guys, what was it like seeing this shop? Your, your shop here? Yeah, it is, it is fantastic. I've got to admit, this is probably the thing I was most excited about seeing beforehand. Um, we've seen the concept drawings and everything, but to see it is just absolutely brilliant. It's cool. I took a look around. I really enjoy the, what is it, the extendable ear? What is this called? The extendable ear, yeah. yeah. How does that work? What's that about? Essentially, if you want to li like eavesdrop on someone. Oh. So eavesdrop. So. Okay, I got it. So you put that ear somewhere and you listen in from a secret location. Yeah. James Oliver, thank you guys so much. And, of course, Terry, we appreciate it. Guys, a pleasure. We are so thankful that you join us. The stars, give it the thumbs up. And on July 8th, it is open for you to come check out. We're live from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley this morning here on Sunrise. We've got much more straight ahead in our next half hour. So for now, back to you guys.